Ladies and gentlemen, this is a PSA announcement and I just want to let you know that you, my friend, are worth it, period. Don't ever let nobody bring you down and tell you any different. You hear me? Do you hear me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I want to, it was inspired actually by a girl that I met today and I wanted to make this video be, it's a random one. I just got home and I was like, you know what? It's on my mind. I'm going to do it. So I met, um, a friend today, um, and we had a conversation. We, we were having like girl talk or whatever, and I don't know how many people feel like this, but it was on my heart and I'm like, you know what? I want to make a video about it. Um, so I'm not going to say her name, but she had mentioned that um, she's in a relationship um, with this guy. She is a mother of three kids, two, eight, 11, I think. And um, she was telling me that um, she's in a relationship with this guy and the story kind of like made me kind of sad because no woman should ever um, bring their self down to this point and feel like they need to or whatever. So, okay. So she has three kids. She's a single mother. Um, she met this guy. Um, he refuses to leave um, like so he he goes and stays with her but he hasn't committed a hundred percent and he has uh, mentioned to her that he doesn't he doesn't have kids so he's told her that he um doesn't want kids or whatever and he shouldn't be with her or whatever but and then he still stays because she um kind of begs him to stay and so she cries and then he ends up staying or whatever he doesn't really help her with the bills um, I think just recently he started, but it's been like two years or whatever. And I just um, was like, no, girl, you need to let him go because he's telling you that he doesn't want to be in this relationship. And the only reason pretty much why he's in it is because um, she cries and, and, and begs him to stay. And so he feels bad and he stays. So I told her, and I know, I know that sometimes you get into this comfortable place in life and you just don't want to be alone. But if there's anybody out there like this, um, do not feel like you can't do this alone. You are a strong woman. You are an independent person and you can accomplish these things by yourself and you do not need a man there to help you with these things. You can do it yourself. You pushed out these kids. Um, that alone is like a major thing. A man could never handle that pain and you did it. You got this. Um, like, it just breaks my heart because to me, I'm like, she's a beautiful girl and she feels like she's not worth um enough like if she does leave them that she's not gonna be able to find someone um that'll take her and her three kids and I told her you know what God has a plan for all of us and he will bless you with someone that will see the beauty in you and will want your kids and you and love you and your kids um ladies don't ever think that you need a man to be able to um go on in this life just because you have kids or even if you don't don't ever feel like no one's gonna ever want you or whatever because that is not true um real recognize real so a good person's gonna recognize a good person and they're gonna see the um the realness in you the genuine person that you are and they're gonna love you um but don't ever beg someone to stay if they've already told you that they don't want to be there. Um, they should want to be there. Um, I don't know. I just, 
I like whenever she told me the story, I felt so sad. And I, I told her, you know, you have to find that strength within you and just do it and just cut ties and be done with him because he's obviously letting you know that he does not want to be in your life. So I had that talk with her, but then I was just thinking like, you know what, how many other people feel like that? And so I was like, you know what? It's on my heart, it's on my mind, and I just wanted to make a video about it and just let you ladies know if you're feeling that type of way, um, there is hope and you will find someone. Um, there's a plan for all of us written already, so just stay patient, hopeful. It will happen when it's supposed to happen, but never lower yourself. You are worth it. You are enough. And if that person can't see it right now, he is not the one. He should never convince someone um, to love you or to be with you. Never do that. Um, so, I don't know. I just, it made me sad. And I just hope that this can um, give you strength. Because you guys can and you can and you will, you will succeed in life and you will fight. Like I am so thankful for my mom, single mother, right? She had me, my brother, and my sister, and she worked her butt off. She worked three jobs, um, morning, uh, then she had a part time and then she had a nighttime job. I don't know how she did it, but I give her so much respect and so much love for her never giving up on us and for her never turning to drugs, alcohol, because let me just tell you, if that was me, I probably would have, uh, I don't even know, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I would have been like, check me in because I can't do this. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I you know being a mother is hard and make sure you give yourself some time for yourself. Like if you're able to, if you have a friend, if you don't even have your parents um, to help you, um, if a friend, just ask your friend, hey, can you watch my kids for like 20, 30 minutes? I need to take a break. Um, you need that because I mean, I don't have kids, but I know that has to be super stressful and, and you just need to do it for your mental state. <laughs> I feel like you would need to look, I don't even have kids. I like, but I, I raised my sister, um, my cousin, Anthony, like, like I've watched them grow from, you know, young ages to now and teenagers or something else but I got so lucky because my sister she was amazing she was easy I'm telling you she was easy I love her she didn't give me a hard time or nothing if anything I think I was the one that gave my mom the hardest time but that's okay I'm good now <laughs> um but yes my whole point of this video is to, for those that are feeling like that, even the guys, cause maybe you're, maybe you also can be in a, in like a verbal abusive relationship thinking, or I don't know what the case is, but thinking that you're, that you need to stay in this relationship, even though it's toxic, because you're worried that you're not going to find someone else. You will it's toxic you don't need that everybody deserves to be happy like you can do this happiness is not hard but it I don't know like it's not hard to be happy but people make it hard and I don't understand it I still do not understand it why is it so hard for people to just be happy like I feel like like if you want to be in a relationship with something with something with someone <laughs> something but like if you want to be in a relationship you're gonna be in a relationship with that person and if if you're for real about it and you're gonna have discussions because no two people are the same but you can sit there and talk about it 
talk about it be understanding if you're in a relationship just to be in a relationship and you don't want to put in the work then you do not need to be in a relationship because a relationship takes work communication talking do not let your um like everything that is bothering you builds up because and then that just makes everything worse and it just sucks um but i don't know i just i just wanted you guys that are in a situation like that to know that you are strong and you can find someone and don't feel like you're not going to find someone ever or that there's never going to be someone that's going to accept you for you and your package. There will be. I promise there will be someone for you. It just hasn't happened yet. It's just because it what hasn't, it's not meant for it to happen yet. Everything is a lesson in life. Trust me, I have stories upon stories to tell you guys. But, um, yeah, so if you do watch this, and you know who you are. Um, ha you're a strong woman. You can do this. You know what you need to do. We're in this group chat. And if you need someone to talk to, if you do do it and you need someone to talk to, we're there. We're there. And um, I just met her today. But I'm a type of person that, like, if I can help you, I'm gonna try my best to help you and motivate you and give you the best advice that I can. I don't know her, but I told her, I said, look girl, I don't know you, but I'm everything that you told me, I'm gonna give it to you um, and be truthful about the whole situation. And I told her and I said, that dude doesn't wanna be with you and you just gotta let him go. And she's like, she knows and I've been in situations, I've been in a situation like that and it was not a good one. Um, but I told her, he's telling you, he doesn't want to be with you, so let him go. And she says that whenever he says that, she questions it, tells him why, and then starts crying and then he feels better and then he takes her back or they stay together. And I told her, no, you can't do that not good for you it's not good for him it's not good for your kids if anything do it for your kids but and then after you get out of this out of a relationship like that learn to love yourself like do like do some exercises at home because exercising really does a lot it helps a lot I've been on a mission this week and I'm gonna just make it a lifestyle that's my goal to do it's hard work believe me it's hard work but i'm on a mission to do it and it feels good so find something um and and just build yourself up don't bring yourself down don't do that so yeah but i'm just i'm just gonna leave with that um, know your worth and know that you are worth it and that you are enough. And any person that tries to bring you down and tries to tell you otherwise is not for you. If they're not building you up, um, then they're just not for you because no person would bring you down that loves you, period. Period. <laughs> but, um... I hope everyone is having a great night. I'm sorry I look a little crazy or whatever, but I just got done working out. And I just wanted to make this quick video because I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. <sighs> I just need to. I just wanted to. Like, because if I can help one person, two people, three, like, just know that you're not alone and there's people battling this but you can overcome it you can overcome these situations they're not forever like nothing is easy in life nothing and if it is for you well power to you but 
I have not had it easy. I have some stories upon stories um, to tell you. Maybe I'll share them one day, but so, okay, I'm rambling. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this is somewhat encouraging for you guys. Um, I just, everybody deserves happiness. And if you're in a toxic relationship, get out of it. You can do it. You do not. Why be in a toxic relationship? No, someone that loves you is not going to put you through that period. But okay. Thank you guys for watching. And make sure you well, if this if you felt like it was helpful, like if it was a helpful video, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, comment down below um, any advice that you would give. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Make sure you hit the little bell button so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.